time travel is something that's interested many people. Over the years, stories have been told regarding a number of strange occurrences that seem to create a manipulation in both space and time. Although time travel is hypothetical, there are rumours that suggested certain individuals have managed to achieve this. One of these stories comes from Germany. During the war, efforts were being made by Germany to ensure that they would be victorious over their enemies. It's been suggested by some researchers that they even looked at unconventional means to achieve this. Whispers of anti-gravity machines were spreading, and this machine was given the name of the Glocker. This means the bell. The machine in question was described as being able to manipulate matter and even travel in time. World War II Germany was said to have worked on the project to increase their efforts in the war. Evidence for these claims are limited. However, there are some that have come forward in regards to being contacted by people who are close to the project. An editor of a Polish magazine was contacted in 1997 in regards to a mysterious weapon the Germans were working on. He was given documents that allegedly detailed the craft they were working on and how they planned to use it. Post-war interviews with an SS officer caused confusion. This was when he started talking about a top-secret weapon the Germans had been working on. He told the story in order to keep himself alive. He told them about something they called the bell and it was capable of vortex compression and magnetic field separation. The Polish editor even went on to release a book that was titled The Truth About the Wonder Weapon. However, it didn't gain much publicity and was overall ignored as it wasn't able to back up the claims. Some have suggested they used the bell in order to travel great distances, perhaps even using it to travel into space. Those studying this era have said the Germans were almost ready to turn the tables with this machine, but due to it being too late some high-ranking officials took the bell and vanished. The craft is said to be able to travel at great speeds and uses an unknown energy source. Many have called this bell the Wonder Waffer, which translates to the Wonder Weapon. The description of the Wonder Waffer is that of a church bell. Those who saw the craft firsthand said it was around 11 to 16 feet in height, and around 12 to 14 feet in diameter. The bell was nowhere near perfect though. Those who worked on the project said the craft would have mysterious effects on things nearby. When powered up, the bell would have an effect range of around 350 to 600 feet. Anything that was close by would be negatively affected. For example, plant and animal life would soon die if it was too close when the bell was being powered up, causing some to suggest that whatever it was powered by was toxic for any living animals. This could have been one of the reasons why the bell wasn't used to turn the tables, as it was still in its testing stage and being observed for improvements. This zone was allegedly closely examined by the scientists, one of which said after studying the animals that passed away they discovered that crystals had formed inside the tissues. The craft itself was said to be powered by a liquid fuel which was named Serum 525. Insiders who worked on the project described the fuel as being red in colour, and having a sticky gooey texture. The liquid was then placed inside a chamber and spun for several minutes. It was then mixed with another liquid and placed inside an electrostatic tube. This in turn created anti-gravity propulsion which allowed the craft to travel great distances. According to one of the engineers that worked on the project, when the bell was powered up it would create a slight buzzing sound. Interestingly, this would cause the engineers and some of the scientists to refer to the bell as the beehive. There's some theories that suggested the Germans were not the inventors of the bell. For years before the bell's invention, people all over the world reported seeing UFOs that were in the shape of bells. It's been put forward that Germany and their scientists managed to somehow get their hands on one of these bells. After getting it into one of their secret bases, the researchers were then able to reverse engineer the craft and use it to benefit them. Another theory is that the bell was simply propaganda, with the story being created in the hopes of being shared around. This would in turn make the enemies believe they were far more advanced than they actually were. It's very likely they worked on numerous top secret projects. After all, it's very unlikely we're ever going to find out the whole truth about what happened during these times. But to claim they were in possession of a time-travelling bell requires hard evidence. 
Researchers who have looked into the case have said it's certainly interesting and makes for a great story. But as of today there's no hard evidence to suggest this time travelling bell existed, or was created by the Germans in any way. Interestingly though, some have suggested the Kecksburg UFO and the bell were the same craft. It's reported by those that worked on the craft that it went missing, and they suspect that it was taken by senior officers. However, in 1965 the bell would once again make itself known. On the 9th of December 1965 at Kecksburg, Pennsylvania, a mysterious fireball was reported in the sky by several eyewitnesses. A report by the Greensburg Tribune Review said the following about the event. The area where the objects landed was immediately sealed off on the order of the US Army and state police officials, reportedly in anticipation of a close inspection of whatever may have fallen. State police officials there ordered the area to be roped off, and await the expected arrival of both US Army engineers and scientists. After officials reached the site it was reported that a large bell-shaped craft had impacted the site. The event was investigated and samples were taken. However, in the 1990s the reports of these findings mysteriously went missing. Some have said the bell-shaped craft that was discovered that day was actually the bell. As of today though, researchers are of the opinion that the bell is just a story. Another mysterious object that is said to be able to transport you through time is that of the chronovisor. The chronovisor is perhaps one of the most mysterious objects that is said to have existed. Father Pellegrino Annetti met up with Father Francis Brune during the 1960s. After catching up the two men decided to take a ferry across Venice's Grand Canal. It was during this ride that they got onto a mysterious object. Father Annetti started to describe an object that could give someone all the answers they wanted. This conversation stuck in Father Brune's head, and he was eager to find out more about this mystical object. Both men were said to be fluent in various ancient languages, and it was during this conversation that Father Annetti said to Father Brune that his skills may come in handy. He described a small machine that was able to answer any question you had, and that it could take you into the past or future. The two soon moved off the subject and carried on with their day. However, it was the mysterious device that stuck with Father Brune. He was confused about what kind of device could perform such miracles, and so when he next met up with Father Annetti he brought up the mysterious device in conversation. Father Annetti could tell he was interested and so started to describe a device he called the chronovisor. Never hearing of such an object, Father Brune asked what this object looked like. It turns out the chronovisor was said to be the size of a small television, but instead of working like a typical TV, this device allowed you to tune in to past and future events. Father Annetti then went on to say that the machine works by detecting sounds and vibrations of the earth, saying that our universe, planet and everything inside it leaves a print. These charged prints stay in the universe forever, and with the correct equipment you're able to hear it and even see them. At this point Father Brune had many questions, one of which was had Father Annetti seen the crucifixion of Christ? Annetti said the following, We saw everything. The details were incredible. What Father Annetti was describing to Brune was essentially a time machine. However, instead of taking someone to a point in time, you would see these events through this device. Although this sounds far-fetched, some have compared this to a modern-day security camera. Security cameras allow you to see past events being played out. Another device that works in a similar way is that of large telescopes. Galaxies, nebulas and other astronomical events take a long time to reach us, but if you were to travel to them they would look completely different. Unlike many of these stories though, there is alleged proof of this event. Father Annetti was able to snap an alleged photograph of Jesus Christ's face through the chronovisor, and this is while he was on the cross. However, not long after researchers discovered that the photograph was identical to one sold at the Sanctuary of Merciful Love in Italy. After this revelation, Father Annetti said little more about the photograph and the chronovisor. He passed away in 1994. So my question to you guys is what do you make of the deglocker and the chronovisor?
do you think there's any truth to it? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.